This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I've been thinking, I want to start a new series on my channel where I try new hobbies. Craft time with Jenna, it's coming back. Last time I did this, I picked up crochet and knit and I'm just obsessed with them and do them like every single day. So now I'm thinking, what other hobbies could I pick up? <sighs> this might be a really bad series for me and all of you because you might come out with 50,000 hobbies by the end of this, but I'm curious to see how things are made. So obviously I have never attempted to make shoes. I don't really know how they're made and I wasn't really going to attempt this without a kit. And lucky for me, I went with my best friend to a local leather store here and they had sneaker kits with everything, even the pattern. And it's a pretty basic shoe, the kit, but I decided, hey, this is my first time making it, so why, you know, follow it 100% and make the exact pair of shoe and you know, be semi-successful, let's change it up and let's be creative. So this pattern has a few different sizes for how, if you wanted a high top or a low top. So I'm thinking this one, this, this gray one right here. I feel like that will be a good height for me. Damn it. You guys just watched me cut that whole thing out and um, uh... good enough. Okay, little update. I ended up getting all my pieces carved out, which surprisingly took me like a really long time. And now I'm getting on the part where I cut all these pieces out, which again, is gonna take a really long time because I'm not able to use my scissors. I got out my wood carving kit when I took printmaking back in college, these bad boys. And I'm having to like carve it out one sec, I just realized this shirt is not very practical for this type of work. This outfit is not much better, but I just realized that I haven't done laundry in like a month, so this is all I have and it's cozy. I got some good news. I finally finished all of the pieces right here. So that means I'm officially done cutting so my hands can take a little breather, do a little stretching, do a little like almost like massage therapy on them because they are pretty cramped up for that. So they need a little bit of recovery before I can get on to the hammering of the holes. We're gonna be using this. We're gonna be hammering holes into this piece where all the little let me see, come on man. The dots there, all those dots, we have to put holes into. So definitely need a burrito and a little break for my hands. Hi Benson, what are you doing? You wanna play with your toy? Do you wanna play with your toys? Go get it, go get your, your, your squirrel. Can't go, oh there it is. My pants got a little bit tight after that burrito. Anyways, I feel pretty prepared. I feel good, I feel recovered. So next step is we need to now put holes where we are going to sew the shoe to the sole and sew the shoe to like the other parts of the, the shoe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this special hole puncher tool because you can't just like shove a needle through this, it's way too thick. 
and I'm gonna take this 1900s hammer right here. This is actually my hammer. I've had it for a really long time. Couldn't tell you where it's from, but it did belong to JS. Gonna line this up onto the hole and just hammer it down. And there we go, a perfect hole. One piece is done. Pretty good. I gotta say, you know, pretty even. It doesn't like, you know, there's no sore thumbs in here. I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm gonna go on to the shoelace part, which we're gonna use a thick one. <gasps> Beautiful. Look at that hole. My cheeks have gone all flush because I was like, <laughs> had my head over top of the table and like, you know, just working out for a while, but um, done all the holes. So next step, I am gonna be putting the eyelets into the big holes. So this is supposed to be easy, you know, e easy. So um, let's see if it's easy. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this, put it in here, like this, and then I need scrap. Then I put it down, grab my eyelet tool, put it on the back side, and then hammer. How did I do that perfect? I was really expecting myself to mess that one up, but look, perfect, perfect. Okay, we got my first wonky one. That one, nah, not too good. Not so good. So overall, I want to say 50% of my eyelids are good, 50%. I would say they pass, but not with flying colors. I would say very below average. So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you guys have not heard of Squarespace before, they are this amazing online platform where you can go and create your own professional website. So personally, I have been using Squarespace ever since college and I actually created my own website right now with Squarespace. Some of my favorite features about Squarespace is one, you can have an online store where you can sell physical and digital products. Also, if you sell locally, you can also have a local pickup option at checkout. Or if you're an artist or designer like myself, but you don't wanna sell anything, you can also set up a digital gallery online where you can let everyone see your work, or if you have clients that you just want them to see the work, you can also add a password. If you guys wanna try out Squarespace, be sure to use my link down below in the description or go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And after your free trial, be sure to use my code JennaFips at checkout and you'll get 10% off your website or domain. So I did forget that we are not done with the holes yet. We actually need to put holes all the way around each of the rubber soles. Okay, I have them all marked off now. So I'm just using this, which is not the tool you're supposed to use. It's for pattern making, but it's sharp enough that I can poke it through and kind of make a hole because my punchers, hole punchers, are not the right ones for doing this, so we're just gonna make do with this. The next step is to do a saddle stitch to like start connecting the pieces and actually start sewing, hand sewing. So, I don't know. I, I just don't know that I have the mental capacity right now to do that. Mentally, I just like rather watch TV. Okay, I'm mentally prepared now. So we're finally starting to sew the shoe together. So there is this little tab here in the back and that's how we're gonna connect each side together. So I need to pull up a video on how to do a saddle stitch because that is how we're gonna connect them. So we're supposed to align these holes with these holes with these holes. And I, I don't know, I don't really have much confidence that I punched the holes that accurately that these tiny baby holes would line up with these tiny baby holes. Pull through. Look at that. That looks professional. I'm not 
look at that. Not perfect, not close to perfect, but it's done. So it's trimmed, so now we gotta burn it, which I don't know how to trust myself, to be honest. Is it supposed to catch on fire like that? Try it again. I think I did it, like that? Oh, no. I just burnt the leather completely. Okay, this time around, I'm going to burn it upwards this way and not this way so, you know, it doesn't burn the leather. So now, this is my time to shine. This is where I'm gonna be doing some freestyle, if you wanna say that, where it's not part of the actual kit. I just made it up where I put all these holes here because I wanna do a blanket stitch. I wanna add some more colorful stitch work to the shoe. So, last step now, no, not really, eh, not really, I've been thinking, I've been thinking again, and I just don't think just a plain saddle stitch like this will be that nice around here, like yes, that will be nice, that will be professional, but you know, we want it more Jenna, I really want it looking like this, this blanket stitch, and I want it down here, and I want it with orange, so, in order to get a blanket stitch down there, we're gonna need to punch a lot more holes. I just realized that um, I am not gonna have enough thread to do the saddle stitch all the way around and also do the up and down kind of fake blanket stitch for both shoes. I didn't realize it uses like an enormous amount of thread to go along the bottom of the shoe and I already punched the holes <laughs> for the blanket stitch so I kind of have to go back to the store today and cross my fingers that they have orange thread. I already started so might as well finish this, get a little bit, you know, feeling of accomplishment today and then trek my way back in the cold and hopefully they have some thread there, orange thread specifically. Good news, it looks like a shoe. It looks like an actual shoe. I don't know, I find when I'm doing projects for the first time, assembling it like the last step is usually where everything, you know, burns to the ground, but surprisingly, it didn't. But anyways, but the next step, I need to go get the orange thread now. I practice too. You wanna go for a car ride? Yes, come on.
secured. Guys, guys, I'm done and they actually look like shoes and they actually fit. Like, what are the chances? Going into this, I didn't think they were gonna look good. I didn't think they were gonna fit, so I'm, I'm pretty happily surprised. But I do wanna tell you guys before I show you, I really do like them, but they are giving me a little bit of bowling shoes vibes. You know, or, or yeah, I'll just show you. Bam, bam. See what I mean? A little bit of bowling. Maybe it's the laces. Maybe it's the laces that are giving a little bit of bowling shoe vibes. Maybe it's the color. I don't know. But either way, I still really like them. I'm still gonna wear them, even though you know they're a little bit like bowling shoes. But hey, maybe in 2023, bowling shoes are gonna be like the new platform shoe. Chunky shoe, you know? This could be the next new vibe. I'm very proud of myself. I tried something new. I never thought in my lifetime that I would have made a pair of shoes. So that was a really cool experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make a pair of shoes for the first time. If you guys wanna try to make a pair of shoes, I highly recommend trying it out. I'll link the kit that I purchased for these shoes down below. And I'll also link down a few others because I know there's other crochet ones I was looking at. So if you don't want to do like full on shoes, you want to do an easier pair, I'll, I'll give you some resources, okay? But that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys want me to try out a different hobby or craft, let me know down below in the comments which one I should try next. And maybe I'll do it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm done talking. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in a video later. Bye. Bye.